uh, with the marble mould um, and then I'm going to use Lausche um, and that's an orange and gold stone and black striped glass yeah, okay um, I'm using an oxycon um, I'm also using tungsten tweezers um, a rod rest and I think that's about it and obviously my torch um, so I'm going to turn my torch on Going to turn the oxycon on. Okay. So my flame is lit. I turn my oxygen just on slightly, and then the ball on my oxycon should be between four and five. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to start with the glass, and we pop that in to turn it backwards and forwards. Now it's just quite a nice glass because it doesn't tend to spit everywhere. Okay, and then I've got a, just a glass, clear glass punty. Just heat the end and then heat the end of the punty. Just pop that on there. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it around. Just heat a bit further up the rod. you've got it warm you can twist it I'm not making a very big marble I'm just doing a small one can you see that and then I'm just going to twist okay. and carry on heating you can twist a bit more in the flame if you want and then just take your end off pull it a little bit so it goes thin and then just wrap it around a couple of times pop your glass down so I've got that and they're going to make it round so it needs to roll back on itself and then I get the marble mould and just pop it in I tend to put it in the big one first just to sort of push it down a bit on itself So you get sort of half a round in there, like that, okay. and heat it. I'm going to turn it round again to the other hand. Attach another punty, just slightly. There. Hold it for a second, and then turn that around again. Take the first punty off. want to round over the other side of your marble. Again, I put it in the big one just to start it off. Okay. And then you want the one just slightly small for it, so it just goes in the top. You just lay it gently and swish it around. Okay. So that's basically your marble. Now my marble. Um, I've just got to take the last punty off so we pop it in the I usually pop mine in the marble mold just tap it and then you end up with a little tiny bit of clear on the top which you just need to either pull off or melt in and I usually just melt it in just make sure it's nice and smooth over the top that's it so you can see it Okay, and then that goes in the cooling bubbles.